Super excited. I'm super excited. I am super excited. Like that song? Cause it's terrible. Never been known for my singing. Let me tell you why I'm so jacked. So for about a year now, I've been looking at adding a video doorbell to kind of my home automation setup. And I was looking at the ring ones originally, but they're so wide and the area on my, where my doorbell is, is like paper thin that I could never fit something there and I didn't want to move it to another spot. So I've just not gotten one. Then Ring came out with the Pro version, which was smaller and thinner, still too thick for the area. Nest announced they were coming out with a doorbell last year sometime. And when I saw the measurements, it was small enough to fit in the spot where I wanted this thing to go. So I pre-ordered it. I got an email saying it was gonna come out in February. Then I got an email saying it was delayed. Well, it has come and I'm super excited. Before I had bought it, I had done some research on what the requirements were to run this thing. And it said it needed a 10 volt transformer to run the doorbell. Scratch that. It needed a 16 volt transformer to run this. Mine's only 10 volts. So I figured I'll order it. Once it gets here, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do from there. So now that I have it, I started looking into installing it and I realized my transformer is attached to the circuit breaker, which means in order to replace this thing, and I bought a 16 volt replacement from Lowe's, I have to cut the power to my house, take the cover off of my circuit breaker, take the old one out, put the new one in, and that makes me a little nervous. I'm not an electrician, obviously from seeing how I install the switches, I'm not scared of electricity and I feel like if you cut the power, can you mess it up? Maybe you can, but I don't wanna find out if I can do this that way. So I was getting ready to return the Nest, just figuring this is too much for a video doorbell. When I found out that you can buy a plug-in power supply. This is an old power supply that was used for an old security system we don't use anymore. And it's 16.5 volts, which is great. It's enough. I have a power strip next to my circuit breaker. The doorbell wires are right there. I tested it and it works. So we're gonna install the new doorbell. The reason this is exciting is usually I'm on the tail end of when things like this come out, everybody has them installed, everybody has box opening videos. I'm, I'm on the front end of this baby, so we're gonna get this installed right now. Let's see what's in the box. Let's get into it. Oh, that didn't work out well. All right, there you have it, the Nest doorbell. Let's see what's inside. So first things first, there's the doorbell. Looks really good. Looks like you got some paperwork, sticker in the box, instructions, um, some little doodads in here. This is the piece that goes in your chime box to make sure it works. This is the wedge. This is the piece, if you're on an angle, you can put that, you can see it's got a wedge to it. And then the mount itself. That's it. Looks good. Let's do this. All right, so it's super windy outside, so I'm gonna record this, but I'm not gonna include any sound. Couple things I'll say before I start installing this is one, you'll notice the doorbell sits flush with a wall and because of that, it comes with a little wedge um, installation plate that allows the doorbell to sit at an angle. So I'm gonna use that and this seems pretty straightforward. I've already installed up here. You have to install this device here, which connects to the wires that were connected to the doorbell. So that's just a simple and I'll show you the app. You can see the app right here, instructing you on how to install the wires, but that was really straightforward. You just put the red wire in with the gray cord and you put the white wire in with the white cord and then you stick this on the side. 
pretty self-explanatory. But let's get into the installation. All right, so here we have the doorbell and I'm gonna remove the wires on. Now, my fear here is when I remove these wires, they're gonna fall into the wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape them together like so. And I'm gonna tape them to the inside of the door. That way they don't go anywhere. So I got the red one off, I'm getting the white one off. So the Nest app says it doesn't matter which way you connect these wires. And you can see right here, so here's where the doorbell was and the nest, the other ones just didn't fit. You can see this barely fits in there. I don't know if you can see that very well. Like I said, it's sunny out, but this fits right in there. And the other thing I'm gonna do is with this plate, I'm using the wedge. So it's got a little bit of an angle on it. So that has to go through here. So I'm gonna run this through here. Make sure the angle's right. Like so, perfect. I'm gonna fit that in snug right there. That should be perfect. Let me tape this again. There, that should be perfect. And I'm gonna try to use one of the existing drill uh, screw holes and then I'll use, I'll drill another one. So let me go get my drill, we'll screw this in and get this finished up. All right, so I got the first screw in. This is just wood, so I'm not doing, it came with um, anchor mounts. I'm not using that, I'm just drilling right into the wood. Here's the second one. I don't want to go, I don't know where that wire goes, so I don't want to hit that wire. I'm going nice and slow. That should work. Let's see if this works. Find the screw in my pocket. There it is. That's on there. We're good to go. So now to hook this thing up. So it snaps in there and there's a little release button. It comes with a key. So you can use that once you're hooked up. But we're gonna get hooked up first. All right, it's connected. I wanna leave the tape there so it doesn't fall back in, God forbid. All right. There we go. This thing is in. Now to slide it in. Pop, snap, it's in. We're installed. Now to plug it in and see what happens. Hang on a second. All right, it's plugged in and it just made a noise. So we're gonna go back to the app. Is the light blue? Yes, the light is blue. Where are you putting this camera? Front door. Connecting. Looking for camera. This is looking good. Connecting your camera. And you'll be able to see this up here. Setting up Wi-Fi. Connecting. Setting up Nest Network. The one thing I will say, I'm gonna probably put silicone, I'm gonna pop this off after it's installed and set up. And I'm gonna put silicone around the spots where there's a hole and I just don't want water to get back there. Nope. Finishing up and adding to the account. 
this is this was actually really easy and I like that I didn't have to change that transformer into the actual circuit breaker Lindsay would not have been happy with that because if that goes wrong now you don't have power in the house uh, terrible add it to your nest account hit next uh, and I can see video it says you should see video hello I'm here to deliver a package so you can check that out there um, you should now see video All right. Let's see. Next. If you would like to see if the doorbell works. Oh, it worked. Hush, Lucy. It's just me. All right. So the doorbell works. Hit next. Did it chime? Um. If it sounded muffled, it didn't sound muffled. Next, language is English. So now it's asking for an audio recording to be saved. Audio recording. All right. All right, so I'm gonna play with this for a second. You don't have to watch this, stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna show you how this looks when the doorbell's rung, the dogs are gonna bark. It's me, hush. So here you can see in my screen share, it shows you full screen who's at the door. So I can see myself, and if I want, I can talk. Talk? Hello? Hello? All right, doesn't work too well with the echo, but you can also do standard responses. So I can hit this one. Hi, sir. You can just leave it. Thanks. Super cool. I can do this one. Just a sec. We'll be right there. And this last one reminds me of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Hi there. No one can answer the door right now. We'll be notified you stopped by. And while all this is going on, I can hear that coming out of my speaker. So I'm hearing firsthand what's going on at the door when somebody rings it. It also has the ability to recognize friendly faces. So I don't know how that works yet, but I don't know if it sees the same faces all the time and knows them as friendly. Um, but I'll let you know in a future video. So hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully this is on the front end of everybody that's going to make these, but it's installed. It was pretty straightforward, really simple and uh, comment if you have any questions. Get better, be better. I'll see you next time. See ya!